Okay, so I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do the unboxing of my toolbox and the truck I'm getting all in one video. But I'm doing both on the same day, so it might be two different contents. Don't know yet. Anyways, we are currently on our way to meet up with the towing service to get the truck. So, I, don't, I haven't asked him yet if I can record him for the content. So, if he, he's not okay with that, I'll just have to record around him. I'll record the truck itself and whatnot, and then I'll have to just... I can, I can, if he doesn't want me recording his services, I can't record it. So, anyways, we're on our way. Wish me luck. See a big boy. I was a can when I said I need a wrecker to get it. And it was stuck. <laughs> That's ought to be fun. I apologize, it's been a while since I've done a video on this, trying to finish my content up on this. I had to, I have to do this part of the content because I thought I was recording the video on it getting towed out and showing everyone how long it's been sitting and recovering it. I figured that'd be some pretty good content. Well, with it being so bright outside, I thought I hit the record button on the phone. It wasn't recording, so. I'm having to do a little more, try to add some more to the video, so we gotta give you guys the walkthrough. <laughs> Definitely needs some work. <laughs> it's got hydraulics. So this drops back. So it's got that. My only biggest issue this entire truck is that. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty solid. Oh yeah, <laughs> watch this. Yeah, I gotta fix that. That's to pop the, the hood. <laughs> so there's that. I mean, all in all, it's still pretty solid. I can't complain. I didn't hardly pay any, hardly anything for this truck. This part's a little challenging to do one-handed. There it goes. It's because that is stripped out. So I gotta work with that somehow. It's a 350. I'm still learning on these. This is a 350. I took the carburetor off. 
it's being rebuilt everything's pretty much here except for the filter on top of the carburetor I believe everything's for the most part here I knew there's something supposed to be there um, had air conditioning won't now so that's not gonna be any good I'm not entirely sure what people have done to this some stray wiring here so I gotta figure out exactly what is going on. I was told this ran and drove. So they just parked it, no longer needed it, and it sat and sat for a grand total of about 11 to 12 years. All in all, it's not a bad truck. I think it'll be a fun little project. My kids are definitely excited about it, so we'll work together on getting it built and got quite a few ideas. I'm still thinking on them, so. Anyways, and that's it for now on this truck. I'm waiting for the carburetor to be rebuilt. I need to take the intake manifold off as well to look through that, make sure nothing's damaged in that. So. So definitely like and subscribe if you want to see more content of this and all of that. I have a lot more content coming up. This is just the beginning. So, anyways, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.